diseases in endocrinology, diabetes, and metabolism are an incredible public health problem, particularly because several of them are not only highly prevalent, but increasing in incidence. And a typical example is the obesity and diabetes epidemic. There are several problems with obesity and diabetes. One is that there's so many patients who suffer from these disorders, and the sheer numbers are difficult to address. There simply are not enough endocrinologists to, to deal with it. And the second problem is that we fundamentally don't understand these diseases, how they develop and how they turn into additional complications. So we need to train academic scientists who can understand the fundamental biology of these diseases so that we can improve prevention and treatment in the future. Given the complexity of these disorders, it is really essential for trainees to be exposed to a broad range of, of patients, of research, of uh, both community and clinical experiences that give them the depth of knowledge that they need to treat these disorders. The primary goal of our training program in endocrinology at UPMC is to train the next generation of academic leaders in the field of endocrinology, diabetes, and metabolism. And that involves training both MD and PhD scientists to be not only outstanding clinicians, but also scientific, scientists who can ask important questions about how to address these uh, diseases, uh, both now and in the future. With regard to our studies in thyroid cancer, our multidisciplinary team uh, at UPMC has made tremendous strides in improving the diagnosis and treatment of thyroid cancer by involving endocrinologists, pathologists, ultrasonographers, and surgeons. We've identified molecular markers that better guide our recommended therapies for thyroid cancer. We have developed a Center for Metabolism and Mitochondrial Medicine where again we involve uh, clinicians and researchers in multiple divisions and de departments throughout the university to better understand the very uh, basic aspects of obesity and diabetes and also translating that into humans. There is a tremendous need to educate and train endocrinologists, not only to address the current clinical needs to treat these increasingly prevalent disorders, but also to identify new strategies for both the prevention and treatment of diseases in endocrinology, diabetes, and metabolism.